Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. And today we're gonna take a look at what happens when you put the Endor Rebel Commando faceplates into some Rit dye. And uh, <laughs> you might say, <laughs> you might say that uh, Nick Sant has transitioned, <laughs> uh, in a manner of speaking. And uh, uh, you put him in the Rit dye. You put Nick Sant in the Rit dye, and Captain Rex comes out. What do you know? That was a really cool move on Hasbro's part. They really nailed the sculpt. Uh, if you want it to be Nick Sant, it's Nick Sant, but with a little bit of Rit dye uh, and a little bit of uh, 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 imagination, you've got a very convincing old man Rex. I mean, look at that face sculpt. That's that's pretty damn close to a Captain Rex. That's 10 seconds in the Rit dye. Also, uh, 10 seconds with the neck peg in the Rit dye. And then the Caucasian face down below is just about maybe four seconds, very light. And again, Hasbro really nails those face sculpts. It is not a question as to whether or not those sculpts are good. Uh, it's just that they have that sort of strange, weird, inhuman, uncanny valley factory glow that comes out uh, from, the, uh, from the factories. And it's up to us sometimes to bring out those fine details. And uh, as you can see, uh, the the Rex the Rex really pops through. I mean, we have we have definitely got a Rex figure on our hands here, uh, inadvertently, <laughs> maybe. But um, again, this is uh, it's really too bad that the face plates to the Hoth Rebels don't uh, work with these. That would have been a, an opportunity, a great opportunity to have a lot more customization. But um, this here was just a little bit of weathering powder on the beard. I decided to put a little bit, uh, sort of make it a little more cohesive. Sometimes when you put the Rit dye on it, it, it looks so good that the rest of the figure sort of falls flat. So I hit that white beard uh, with some weathering powder. And then I, I took the rest of the uh, figure and, and sort of weathered it with the powders. You can see it a little bit on the uh, on the rifle, backpack, and legs. Uh, so just a, a very, a very simple custom, but very convincing very convincing Captain Rex. And uh, no matter how you feel about that whole uh, thing, I mean, I thought Nick Sant was an awesome character. I didn't think we really needed to uh, to retcon the shit out of uh, Star Wars again. But nevertheless, uh, I'm okay. I don't lose sleep over it. It's cool. All right, he's now Captain Rex. Very good then. So uh, I hope you like this. Uh, this is a very simple custom to achieve. And uh, just a little bit of Rit dye in a, about 10 seconds of your time. And you too can make a Captain Rex and or Rebel Commando. Thanks so much for looking. Thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you do happen to use any of these techniques, let me know about it. I'd love to hear what your results are. Thanks.